The Indus Valley Civilization, one of the world's oldest urban cultures, remains a captivating enigma. Flourishing around 3300 to 1300 BCE, the civilization's epicenter was the twin cities of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. Despite its remarkable achievements in urban planning, craftsmanship, and trade, the Harappa civilization's decline and eventual disappearance are subjects of ongoing speculation. This article delves into the splendors and potential causes of the end of the Harappa civilization. 1. The Marvels of the Harappa Civilization The Indus Valley Civilization was an exceptional feat of urban planning and engineering. Harappa and Mohenjo-daro featured well-organized grid layouts, advanced drainage systems, public baths, and complex multi-story buildings. The civilization engaged in long-distance trade, evident through the presence of seals and artifacts from distant lands, including Mesopotamia. This highly sophisticated civilization left behind a wealth of archaeological evidence, including seals with a yet-to-be-deciphered script. 2. The Mysterious Decline Despite its achievements, the Harappa civilization experienced a gradual decline starting around 1900 BCE. Scholars have proposed various theories to explain its demise, but a single conclusive reason remains elusive. Environmental factors, some theories point to changes in the Indus River's course or shifts in monsoon patterns, leading to droughts and reduced agricultural productivity. These environmental changes could have disrupted the civilization's food production and trade networks. Tectonic activity, geological evidence suggests that tectonic activity, such as earthquakes, might have altered river courses, destroyed infrastructure, and disrupted life in the urban centers. Aryan Invasion Theory Another hypothesis suggests that the Aryan migration from the northwest led to conflicts with the Harapans, contributing to their downfall. However, this theory is debated and lacks definitive evidence. Internal factors, social and economic issues, including resource depletion, population growth, or changes in political power, could have weakened the social fabric and contributed to the civilization's eventual decline. 3. The Erosion of Civilization The slow erosion of the Harappa civilization is perhaps its most perplexing aspect. Unlike many ancient civilizations that fell due to rapid and dramatic events, the Harapans seemed to experience a gradual unraveling. Abandoned cities, crumbling infrastructure, and a decline in trade are signs of a society that gradually faded away over several centuries. 4. The Challenges of Deciphering History The lack of a deciphered script adds to the complexities of understanding the Harappa civilization's end. Unlike the cuneiform script of Mesopotamia or the hieroglyphs of Egypt, the Indus script remains a mystery. Without the ability to read written records, our understanding of the civilization's internal dynamics, cultural practices, and reasons for decline is limited. 5. Environmental Challenges and Disease The Harappa civilization's decline could have been influenced by a combination of environmental challenges and disease outbreaks. The Indus Valley region, where the civilization thrived, was susceptible to changes in climate and hydrology. If the climate became drier due to shifts in monsoon patterns or tectonic activities, agricultural productivity could have been severely impacted. Reduced crop yields and water scarcity could have contributed to famine, malnutrition, and weakened immune systems, making the population more susceptible to diseases like malaria and cholera. 6. Disease and Health Impact Malaria and cholera are two infectious diseases that could have played a role in the Harappa civilization's decline. Malaria, mosquito-borne malaria, is endemic in regions with warm climates and stagnant water. The advanced urban planning and drainage systems of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro might have inadvertently created pockets of stagnant water, ideal breeding grounds for mosquitoes carrying the malaria parasite. The population's continuous exposure to malaria could have led to a significant health burden, reducing productivity and increasing mortality rates. Cholera Cholera is a waterborne bacterial infection caused by contaminated water and food. 
The densely populated urban centers of the civilization, with their advanced sanitation systems, might have inadvertently facilitated the rapid spread of the disease. Once cholera takes hold in a population, its devastating impact can be swift, leading to severe dehydration, death, and a breakdown in societal functions. 7. Trade Disruptions and Societal Fragmentation the Harappa civilization was renowned for its extensive trade networks, connecting distant regions through intricate routes. However, the decline of these trade networks could have had a cascading effect on the civilization's stability. If external trade partners faced their own challenges, such as economic downturns, political upheavals, or disease outbreaks, the Harappans' access to essential resources and goods could have been severely compromised. This disruption could have led to economic decline, social unrest, and a breakdown of the intricate interdependencies that sustained the urban centers. 8. Social Complexity and Governance Issues The complex societal structure of the Harappa civilization, with its organized urban planning and centralized administration, could have faced challenges related to governance and social cohesion. As populations grew and resources became scarcer, managing a highly stratified society might have become increasingly difficult. Economic disparities, political power struggles, and competition for limited resources could have eroded the social fabric, leading to conflicts and potentially weakening the civilization's ability to respond to external challenges. 9. Resource Depletion and Agricultural Challenges the sustainability of any civilization heavily relies on its ability to manage and maintain its essential resources, especially food production. The Harappa civilization's reliance on agriculture in the fertile Indus River Valley would have made it susceptible to shifts in agricultural productivity. If the soil quality declined due to continuous cultivation or if the civilization's irrigation systems faced disruptions, crop yields could have dwindled. Over time, decreased agricultural output could have led to food shortages, malnutrition, and social unrest, ultimately contributing to the civilization's decline. The intricate balance between resource availability and population demands highlights the delicate equilibrium that ancient civilizations needed to maintain for their survival. The factors contributing to the decline of the Harappa civilization are undoubtedly interconnected and multifaceted. The interplay between environmental changes, disease outbreaks, trade disruptions, societal complexity, and governance issues creates a complex tapestry that historians and archaeologists continue to unravel. The ultimate demise of this once thriving civilization serves as a reminder that the prosperity of even the most advanced societies can be fragile, vulnerable to a combination of internal and external pressures.